Hi, Sean Duffy with Mad Gadget. We're here with Vernon Huang, and he's going to show us uh, his new pen. Hi, I'm the uh, founder and uh, chief medical officer of Shareable Inc., and we put information to electronic medical records using uh, paper and pen. So this is an anesthesia record. What I do uh, as an anesthesiologist, first thing I want to do is uh, you know document when I start the case. So I just check this box that I'm starting the anesthesia now. This is Perry Mason's anesthesia record. I might write that uh, this person's allergic to penicillin, that uh, we're going to work with Dr. Cameron. The guy's got abdominal pain, and we're going to do an appendectomy. Sign my name. Uh, just check off some information, they check the heart and lungs, they check my equipment, uh, put an IV in the forearm, uh, maybe he gets some saline during the course of this case, 2,000 mLs, and uh, maybe I give him something for nausea, and it's general anesthetic. I can also write in the time if I'm busy when they, when they start surgery, so I'm going to say they started at 7.52 a.m., and uh, just chart my, my me medical record like I usually do. This is uh, the way an anesthesia record's done, and I can give the patient some propofol, some Midazolam, some fentanyl, uh, some vecuronium, and when I finish the record, all I have to do is either dock the pen in a cradle or check a little invisible box, which initiates a wireless transfer uh, to our servers. So the data is, is captured in the pen, is, is in the form of strokes, now transmitted wi wirelessly and encrypted to our server farm in Boston, where the strokes are reapplied to the paper, and we can do things like handwriting recognition, time stamping, uh, basically capturing every stroke that's made on the piece of paper, and, and as well as identifying what pen made those strokes. Does it do it over Wi-Fi or a cellular network? Uh, this right now is over cellular in the hospital. We're, we're going to be doing it over um, over uh, USB uh, cradles, most likely. Okay. So this is the uh, shareable ink portal, and um, let me click my, my inbox now and refresh it. And you'll see that Perry Mason is in the record now, up to, uploaded today at uh, uh, just you know a few seconds ago. This is the service on East Coast time. Uh, click on this record. And what you'll see at first is a very clean scan of the form. You know, what what uh, appears on the form you know, appears on the screen. Uh, some JavaScript is loaded now. So I can actually go to this button and say text and hit text. And now I've actually converted the penicillin I've written to, uh, to uh, ASCII text. Uh, I got saline, I got my 18 gauge IV that I put in, all the check boxes that I checked are actually now kind of discrete on off Boolean check boxes. Um, if I go down to my, my times, I checked this piece of uh, this, this, part of this time at uh, 1058 uh, local time here. Um, and you see there's nothing was written there, but it fills in the the date and the time that I check that box, as well as allowing me to, to write in the time to override that if I want to. Got Dr. Cameron, abdominal pain, appendectomy. Uh, my signature is still a graphic. And if I go to my, my second page of my anesthesia record, all of the, uh, the drugs that I wrote in will be converted to uh, ASCII readable text, got 100% recognition. Um, the vital signs it just captures as a graphic. And uh, we are. Um, working in, um, in anesthesia, we're working with uh, emergency medicine in uh, oncology, uh, uh, paper-based uh, computer, uh, computerized physics and order entry using paper to write oncology chemotherapy orders, and uh, a lot of institutions also interested in patient intake where the patients are filling yeah. out paper with paper and pen uh, in the waiting room and actually you know, taking that information and making discrete data out of it on the back end. Does the pen have to be programmed for each uh, individual uh, form? Um, no, the, the, the pen is, um, is this, this the pen is, is, uh, is my pen, so when I write on a form, um, we've got a, an audit trail saying that I, I'm the one that wrote, wrote this on the pen. The, uh, the paper is printed on site um, uh, by, the, by the institution, so there's no special paper to order. It's, it's regular paper that uh, you buy at Office Depot and uh, printed on a, a 600 DPI laser printer. Mm -hmm. Who would you say is the, the, your, your target market is hospitals that are trying to transition into EMR, but they're not quite there yet, and they need some sort of intermediary to go from paper to digitalized or? Um, um, I think we're, we're bridging technology between okay. the, the current paper world and the EMR world. Yeah. And we may even be a bridge at last because what we found with, with EMR is it's disruptive towards the workflow. So well, it's, it's easier for an anesthesiologist to Well, this, to this doesn't order. change any of my workflow at all. Okay. Okay. Um, but it allows the, uh, the benefits of EMR, mm -hmm. the, the, the capture the discrete data on the background for, for reporting. So um, be, just because I'm an anesthesiologist, we started um, in the anesthesia market uh -huh. um, to um, 
first, uh, first just to streamline my billing or working with some, with some billing companies that have thousands of providers and with this type of system, before you leave the recovery room, uh, the anesthesia record can be at your you know, administrative office for, the, for those, those kind of tasks. But um, we're also working with the institutions to capture the uh, reporting measures for things like uh, uh, you know, JCO initiatives or SCIP initiatives, uh, quality initiatives, and, and build dashboards for the institutions so they can actually mine uh, you know, paper, uh, the data off of the paper. Yeah. So, anesthesia, emergency medicine, uh, oncology orders, uh, patient intake, I mean, we're also getting high level of interest uh, in all those areas, even though the company's just a few months old. Yeah. Great. Seems like a new technology. Thanks.